Hi, I'm Emma, and I'm a senior at Ogallala High School. Mountain time! Thanks. And this is a poem titled Narcissus Pools. My sanity has been invaded by mansplainers, propped up by their own self-confidence and the compassionate certainty that I, with feminine fingers, a matriarchal mind, and eyelashes batting in sheer confusion, am helpless. Mansplainers who see my raised hand in calculus class to be a flashing SOS signal encoded in a language only they can read. Saviors that arrange the map of paper in my face, trace the work. It's a pretty tricky concept, but I think I have it figured out for you. My raised hand still begging for permission to go to the bathroom because I finished my assignment 10 minutes ago. Boys who build computers so they are automatically more skilled than the IT department and always know what's wrong with mine. They can do anything. They build computers. Congratulations. So skilled at placing together pre-made parts, they could work for IKEA. Mansplainers who don't understand that using long words nobody understands isn't clever, it's narcissistic. Gazing into a pool of self-worth tainted with the image of something far nobler, gaze deeply and pretend to stand before the ocean with a well of infinite knowledge below. They use long words as a unit of measurement for their egos. They try but I have better words than them. I have wrapped my worries around too many books and let the pages dissolve them. They cannot touch me here. I let myself fall into my Narcissus pool until my veins are more water than blood. I have no mercy because you see, misogynists don't spring from the womb fully grown. Their first words aren't not all men, they're well, actually. Wobbly first steps are not first taken towards a woman at night. Keys clutched in her hand as the streetlights race across her skin, but towards the next lab station. I did it this way. Before hands reach between legs, they tap on shoulders. You're doing it wrong. And when I walk through the hallways with my head held high, how dare they press their thumb against my chin to lower me? I always rise because every bruise and comment and metallic taste on my tongue is worth its weight in gold. After all, we just reached integrals in calculus class and the mansplainers drowning, taking in gulps of indecision and spitting out wrong answers. If he asks for my help, I'll throw him a rope. But for now, I sit under a shady tree, a summer breeze warm against my skin as I watch his pool shrink by the second.